This video will serve as a five minute overview of the Polar Cloud platform, showing you how to manage all of your students, their designs, and the printers at your school. To access the platform, Google Polar Cloud or go to polar3d.com. You'll be greeted with this landing page. From here, before signing in, you can search for your printer to see if it's compatible with the cloud. If I search for my Dremel printer, I'll get a notice saying that my printer is compatible natively. This means that it ships from the factory with the firmware necessary to connect to the Polar Cloud. I don't need any additional hardware to connect it. We also highlight a number of the features available to you once you sign in. Queuing, sharing, print stats, and printer camera feed and notifications from your printer. Let's go ahead and sign in. Click the sign in button in the top right and then choose from one of the four OAuth providers. I'll be signing in with Google. I'm now logged into the cloud platform. If this is my first time and I'm a teacher, I'll need to create a school. If I'm a student, I'll join the school that my teacher has created. Let's navigate the menu from the left to the right. In the top left, if you're in a school, you'll see your school name. This button serves as a home button. If you're ever on a different page and you want to navigate back to the home page, click this button in the top left. From there, the explore page shows you your objects, design challenges and contests, and STEM curriculum. We'll start with the objects. Here, I have my private repository of objects. I can upload objects directly from my hard drive or import them from my Google Drive. You'll notice some of these objects have the Tinkercad logo on them. This means that I imported them directly from Tinkercad. I'll show you how to do that. When I'm done with my design and I'm ready to print, I click export. And instead of downloading it, I can click 3D print and then choose the Polar Cloud. This means it gets imported automatically to my Polar Cloud repository. Once my object's uploaded, this is the object detail page. I can run an estimate on it to see how long it might take or how much filament it will use. I can also 3D print it. There are a number of ways I can do that. By clicking 3D print, if I have access directly to a printer, meaning someone shared that access with me, I'm either an experienced student or a group manager, etc., I can click 3D print, my printer, and send that print job directly to the build plate. This is a virtual build environment with iPad friendly controls where I can make changes to the file, choose from basic print settings, and send the job to the printer. Now, if I don't have direct printer access and my school requires that I submit a job request, I do the same thing, but instead of sending it to my printer, I send it to my school. Clicking send job will pull up all the schools available to me if I'm in multiple. If you're just in one, it'll have that auto selected. I can give my object a name. If my school allows, I can select color or material or just leave it blank, submit comments and create the print job. You can imagine a student that's very green and very new to 3D printing still gets engaged in the printing process and gets notifications as their job is printed. Back to explore and activities and projects, I'll see a list of all STEM curriculum available on the cloud. There are a number of different publishers. Steam tracks is full length modules. Steam Track shorts are meant to be completed in one class period, and then the Polar 3D community has some short modules that teachers have submitted. Here you'll notice they show the targeted concept and skills, different classroom guides, facilitating the daily activities, videos, interactive workflows, and more. An example of a great Steam Track shorts module is the creating a light switch plate. The student brainstorms, sketches, and designs a light switch wall plate that they can take home. The design online design page is really just there to help you launch the design tool from the cloud directly. If you're unfamiliar with some of these options, take a look. You can try out several. Tinkercad and Fusion 360 are the most popular design tools used on the cloud. From the make dropdown, I see my printers. I can either do a tile view with the cameras or a list view if I want to see firmware versions and statuses. Let's click into this 3D printer. You'll notice I have 12 jobs in the queue. If I want to print the last job in the queue, I can send it to the front. If other people have submitted jobs that I don't want to print on my printer, I can remove the job. I can also remove it with comments, sharing this info with them on why they need to resubmit and why the job was canceled. When I'm happy with the first job in my queue, I click start. Since the printer's connected to the cloud, this will send the print job to the printer no matter where I am. I don't have to be in the same room or on the same network. 
Under the Make dropdown, we can also see the job request system. Outgoing job requests that I've submitted as a student, or the entire job request system that shows all incoming jobs if you're a teacher. This is where the cloud gets really powerful because instead of adding one print job to one printer and printing it, clearing it, and starting all over again, I can take as many student jobs as I want all at once and send them to the printer for printing. All those students will immediately be notified, hey, your job's been accepted and it's now in queue. I'll choose a couple basic name tags, which are most of my test objects, and click print. My objects are all imported and arranged automatically on the build plate. I select the printer from the dropdown. Usually you want to choose one that's online, ready to print, and doesn't have a ton of jobs already in the queue. When I've made any necessary changes to the print settings or object orientation, I click print. The job is automatically sent to the back of the queue. I can adjust it as needed and print it whenever ready. A new resource available to all Polar Cloud users is the Polar Cloud Academy. You can find it by clicking one of the Learn More links on the pre sign in cloud, or you can click Help Polar Cloud Academy. There are several getting started learning paths for users of all different roles and types. Some basic badging and certification for students and teachers. Instructions on how to connect your printer. And other help articles about your printer or print setup and workflows. The school dashboard has member management for all of my different levels of access and allows you to import from Google Classroom. My profile settings will show me the different notifications I'm signed up for that I can expect to receive via web, notification bell, email, and text message. We hope you found this video useful and enjoy using the Polar Cloud to manage your 3D printing, students, and workflows at your school. Happy printing.